In order to determine how far the runner travels in 16 seconds based on this graph, we have to keep in mind an idea that is outlined here in this purple box. It states that on a velocity versus time graph, the area under the graph will equal the displacement. So to get a better sense of what we mean by the area under the graph, what we're going to do is carve this graph into five geometrical shapes. So let's take a look at those five shapes. So we've colored in those five geometrical shapes. And again, our goal is to find the area of these five shapes. That area will represent the displacement of the runner. Let's start out with that yellow triangle. And we recall that the area of a triangle is equal to 1 half times the base of the triangle times its height. So in this case, we would have 1 half. Now the base of the triangle would just be the 2 seconds, as you can see along the x-axis there. And then the height of the yellow triangle extends all the way up to the top of the graph, which is marked V sub s. In this case, we were told that V sub s equals 8 meters per second. So the height of that yellow triangle will be that 8 meters per second. And when we multiply this out, we will get a value of 8. And you'll notice that the unit will come out to be meters because the seconds here and the seconds in the denominator there would cancel out, so you would be left with 8 meters. Let's move on to the green rectangle. Now, notice that the area of a rectangle is just base times height. The base of the green rectangle extends from 2 seconds all the way until 10 seconds. So from 2 seconds to 10 seconds is, of course, 8 seconds of time. So the base would be 8 seconds multiplied by the height of that green rectangle, which again extends all the way up to the 8 meters per second. The seconds cancel out as they did before, and now we have 64 meters. Moving to this blue triangle, we'll go back to using the formula of area equals 1 half times the base times the height. The base of this blue triangle is just two seconds because its base is only one increment long and each increment along the horizontal axis is two seconds so the base there is two seconds as far as the height is concerned you may find it helpful to figure out the value of each of these increments the upper increment is eight but there are one two three four total increments to get there so eight divided by four would give you two for each increment so this would be two four, six, and then eight. Therefore, the height of the blue triangle extends from four all the way up to eight, and that means that its height is four meters per second. And this works out to be eight meters. Looking at the magenta rectangle, the base is two seconds. And the height is two, four meters per second. And that also works out to be 8 meters. And then the orange rectangle here has a base of 4 seconds multiplied by the height of 4 meters per second. And that works out to be 16 meters. Now to get the total displacement, we simply add the individual displacements we obtained along the way. And when you add all five numbers together, you would get exactly 100 meters. So this would be the correct answer to the question.